Former world heavyweight boxing champion Anthony Joshua has been dominating the headlines today and not for the reason that you might have expected. We, talk, we talked a little bit about this last night, about the fact this, this match was coming up. Well, he lost his rematch, of course, with Alexander Usyk um, on a split points decision last night in Saudi Arabia. And with it, the three world titles that were on the line. But his behaviour after the bell was what really caused a stir. He grabbed the microphone, venting his anger before grabbing two of the belts and throwing them out of the ring. It was uncharacteristic, the two-time world champion. But with so much on the line, should you always uh, have to be gracious in defeat and isn't being fiercely competitive in the name of the game in professional sport? Now, what do you think, guys? <laughs> the thing when I, I was watching it... Sorry, be, being gracious. I think it's, mm. it's, it's nice to keep your composure. I think it's... Something that, you know, you want to set a good example to, to your viewers and to potential younger fans as well. You know, so when they look up and see their, their favourite boxer throwing a, a strophy, <laughs> that's not going to be but very good. David's example. frowning here. Doesn't it come with the territory? You can't be one of the best in the world and take defeat well, can you? It's, I think it's a soft touch. People love theatrics. Go to WWE, it's television. People want to see a bit of roughness, a bit of readiness, you know what I mean? So if he just shakes his hand, yeah, it's nice and it's humbleness. But to be honest, let's be honest, guys, everyone likes to see a bit of trouble. Some theatrics <laughs> throw it. It makes a bit of conversation and wonder, guess what he did? Guess what this happened? Yeah, makes but, TV. Yeah, but what, what I was so confused at, which got me, and, uh, and I don't have any personal problems with AJ, I don't know him, but he seems a man that speaks from the system, and I say that, it's because a couple of months prior, it was all about BLM, throwing his fistle, everything like that. Great, no problem. Yeah. And then today, and I was watching it, was like, he's parading around with a Ukrainian flag on his back, even so sickly that Usk had to take it off his back. Like, what are you doing?